everyone, welcome to another video, I hope you're doing well. Today I would like to show you some beautiful plants that are relatively easy and should be on your list of plants to try out in your next Arcosape or planted tank. The first one on the list is Halantium tendulum red, a beautiful foreground or midground plant. It is pretty much the same as the regular Halantium tendulum or Echinodorus tendulus. But this variety gets a nice red hue on the leaves, especially if there is sufficient lighting. Halantium tendulum is a fast growing plant that will send out new runners in every possible direction. Therefore it will need frequent trimming and thinning out to prevent it from becoming too invasive. Next up we have Marsalea hirsuta. This is a very easy foreground plant that I barely ever see people use. With this plant you can make a really nice carpet, even in an aquarium without CO2. I do find that this plant grows a lot better in a nutrient rich substrate like aqua soil. Grown immersed, this plant looks exactly like a 4 leaf clover, but once adapted to underwater conditions, the leaves will become round. Another plant that looks similar to a 4 leaf clover is number 3 on the list, Hydrocotyl tripartita or Hydrocotyl species Japan, a very easy and versatile plant. Hydrocotyl can be used in many different ways, either as a carpet or as a compact bush in the midground, but it can also be used as an epiphyte, as it doesn't need to be planted in the substrate. This is another very fast growing plant that will need regular trimming in order to keep it from spreading too much. Next up we have Ludwigia species mini super red or Ludwigia palustris. Probably most of you already know this one, but still it deserves some attention. This Ludwigia is probably one of the easiest red plants out there. It's also quite a small stem plant which makes it a great option for a splash of red in nano tanks. Both the leaves and the stem are completely red and even in low tech conditions this plant will still keep most of its red color. It's also quite a fast growing plant so we need regular trimming to prevent it from creating too much shadow. Number 5 on the list are Bucephalandras. Bucephalandras, Bucephalandras, pronounce it however you like. In general these are very easy plants that grow on rocks or wood, very similar to Anubias, but with a lot more variety in shape, size and color. Normally I'm a big fan of in vitro plants, but with Bucephalandra I'd rather go for the potted version. In my opinion the potted Bucephalandras are a bit more robust and have less chance of melting in the new setup. Bucephalandra are very slow growing plants, which makes them an easy target for algae, so make sure you place these plants in a shaded area. At number 6 we have Valisneria nana. Everybody knows the regular Valisneria or jungle veil, but the nana variety is not as popular for some reason. The leaves of Valisneria nana are very narrow and will not grow as long as the regular types. This is another very fast growing plant, even in an aquarium without CO2. The plant will propagate by sending out runners, and if needed you can trim the plant by removing some of those runners. If you want to trim the leaves, I suggest you cut them as close to the substrate as possible because any trimmed leaf will eventually start to decompose. At number 7 we have Fissidens fontanus, also known as Phoenix Moss. Fissidens is a moss that you do not see very often and is labeled by some websites as difficult. I've been keeping this moss in my tanks for a few years now and it's actually quite easy. It does not grow as fast as other aquarium mosses, but it does prefer stronger light, especially if you want to create that feathery cushion effect. Other than that, it does well in both low-tech and high-tech aquariums. At number 8 we have another moss. This time it is mini Christmas moss and the name implies that it is a smaller version of the well-known Christmas moss. Mini Christmas moss is great for nano tanks, it's very undemanding and can grow in a variety of water parameters. 
Attached to some rocks or wood, this moss adds a nice detail to your aquascape. At number 9 we have Meriophyllum species Guiana. This plant is still quite new to the hobby. I was surprised to see this plant grow so well in my no-filter planted phase. It's a very small stem plant with soft needle-like leaves, perfect for the background of smaller tanks, or as a nice bush in the background of larger tanks. These were the 9 easy plants that not many people talk about. I hope I've inspired you to try at least one of these in your next aquascape or planted aquarium. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.